there it is. I'll zoom in a little. Focus. Right there. Look at that. Zoom in. They're fighting. Hey guys, the vlog you're about to watch uh, was from a few days ago. It was set to come out yesterday and then Dutch contacted us and did his magic and so he pushed it back a little bit, but I wanted to add this at the beginning. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming over yesterday and subbing and all the comments. We're just blown away. Um, Gary and I have always said we will comment back to every single comment but the video currently has over 2,000 comments on it and there's just no way we stayed up till one o'clock last night after we got the kids to bed trying to comment and thumbs up and heart and we just can't get caught up so we just want to say thank you thank you thank you we're so so appreciative and we're just blown away at your support so we hope you enjoyed this little vlog and uh we'll see you next time what's up guys welcome back to the channel and so in our last video, you guys saw that Ransom got his motorcycle. He was doing really well on it, but Mama was having to run beside him to get when he would start and then when he would stop because his feet are a little short. So Daddy built these little training wheels and show them how, they, how it works, Ransom. So they're lopsided so that he still has to work on balancing and things. But I am not having to run beside him and about die of a heart attack. So, uh, I now know that I need to get in a little better shape. Now he can ride it all by himself, go wherever he wants, um, and he doesn't have his helmet on, but the thing doesn't go very fast. Um, good job, buddy. Look what I made. Ranger's been making some bracelets. He made bracelets last year and sold them, and he's kind of got back into making some. Um, so he made some bracelets. Nana got him a necklace like his cousin Gregory's. Look at our bridge, guys. Boy's been out making some bridges. Uh, eventually, this area is going to be parking, and we're going to have a sidewalk that goes up to the front door so that people can actually use the front door. But until then, um, they are taking advantage of playing in the mud. So, Gary had been working in the closet. Uh, that was his office, but he's been having to go in to locations every now and then. Love tell, you guys. Tell everybody bye. Bye. Be good boy. So uh, his work is starting to kind of open back up and open up some locations and things. And so he's been having to go in, help with some training, some new rules, guidelines, all that yada yada stuff. Looks like we'll be finishing up all the farm chores on our own. So if you've been with us very long, you know we've been talking about the chicken mansion that's going to go over in here. Uh, it is in the works, but... Uh, since Gary had to start going back on site and things like that, it's uh, slowed down a little, but we're getting to it. All right, so Ranger's going to feed the rabbits. I'm going to feed the chickens, and we're going to check on the quail. Oh, you hear those quail talking? Yeah. So we moved the quail. I always point wrong. We moved the quail out here because they were getting really smelly in the shop. They're doing really good out here. Uh, I still love those Rinnacoop waters. If you uh, haven't seen that video, go up here to the iCard and check that out. If you have any type of birds, they also work for rabbits and things like that. Um, but I highly recommend the Rinnacoop waters. It has worked out tremendously. Watch this, ready? He's a good boy, isn't he? Yep. This is our buck, what's his name? Boomer. Boomer. You want to pet him? Okay, hang on. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, we moved the quail outside. They're doing awesome. They're getting big, looking pretty, getting all their feathers. Um, getting to where you can tell hens from males, things like that. 
Um, and I, I really, I think they're just beautiful. So, uh, there's one way back there. There it comes. That is pretty much all white. It is so pretty. They're talking to you. <gasps> All right, so I just got the chicken water cleaned up and filled up. I'm going to carry it in there, give it to them. And I'm not going to video myself because it's a little bit heavy and I look pretty goofy when I carry it. So check back with you in a second. All right, one task that I am going to complete today is, um, you've had me, heard me talk about before, these hutches that we have. The spots where there's no wire, like uh, back in that hole back there, um, it is wood and then over in this big hutch, half of it's wood, half of it's wire, or a little more than half. Um, yes, Ransom? I have to go pee -pee. Oh, we need to use a bathroom. All right, I am back. So, uh, I'm not real sure where it was at, but if you make a rabbit hutch, make the entire bottom wire. Do not put wood, uh, in the bottom of the wire hutch. One, they, for some reason, will poop and pee on that wood instead of the wire, even if it's just a tiny bit of wood. So as soon as we get a chance, we're going to redo the bottoms of a bunch of these hutches. Um, so I'll show you this one. So not much wood, but right here's where he wants to poop and pee sometimes. So I, br I brush this out uh, pretty much every day. And then back there in those little nest boxes is wood. And I'll show you uh, there's poop. And so if they want to get off this wire, they can go up there and set up there. Um, and they're less likely to poop and pee up there. There's a little bit of poop up there, but not much. Uh, so like I said, um, you can build a little place up there like they can get in to get off the wire. Or we put uh, tile, pieces of tile in ours sometimes because that keeps them cool and they can get off the wire or whatever. Uh, but I'll show you back here. These have wood in them as well. A little bit of poop in it. I have to clean it out every so often. But every so often we get a rabbit that the only place they poop and pee is on the wood. And it just soaks it in and it gets disgusting. So the reason I have these nesting boxes up here is because uh, these are some wood nesting boxes that have bottoms in them. Um, and I don't really like them. We have a few uh, metal ones that we use. And I like them a lot better. They You can put the bottom in or take the bottom out. Um, these wooden wooden ones, when it rains and stuff, it absorbs that. If mama poops and pees in it or doesn't clean everything up real good after she has babies, it just gets real disgusting in the bottom. Um, so I could take the bottoms out and just leave them blank or put wire in them. But since we have four or five of the metal ones, what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to take them apart and I'm going to use the pieces to cover up the hole in the back of that hutch so that the rabbits can't get in there anymore. And so um, I'm gonna cover that up. They can get up on that, whoa, he was a fly. They can get up on that top part if they wanna get out of the wire, but I'm covering that hole up for now because during the summertime, if they go in there and poop and pee, it just gets disgusting. I'd have to clean it every single day for it to not get disgusting. <laughs>
we've been telling you be careful lifting up his worm bed because there could be a snake because they were like that and <laughs> he just lifted it up made a little snake back there and he about messed himself i wish i would have had the camera on <laughs> daddy's back i'm back been to two different towns oh you had to go two different ones yeah all right so i got that all finished uh i just put a board over each little hole because like i said there's no need for them to get back in there during the summertime So the neighbors have been moving Salt's pin around. If you remember, he was right over there. He ate every bit of it down. Then they moved him over here. It was as tall as this and had all sorts of junk in it. He ate it all down. It only took him a few days. So yesterday he got moved over here and he is just rooting and going crazy. So I would say if you're looking for a pig just to put out in the pasture and let it go to town. I would say this red wattle is doing a fantastic job. Yep. Oh, there's Peppa. Hi, Peppa. <laughs> it's right here. And that is hot and that is sauce, hot sauce. So I would, I would like this as our fort, but so you walk in there and there's a tree and yeah. there's a big shade tree. They got some good shade in there, don't they? Yeah. So this hill was just full of grass. We could tell it was like a dirt hill, but we couldn't really tell what it looked like. And they have eaten off of that and destroyed that. Peppa, y'all are doing a good job. Hit that bell for notification. Comment. What? Oh, comment if you know his pig's names. Good job, bub. Yep, comment if you know the pig's name. All right, let's get back on our foiler and you on your moped and head back to the house. Let's go. So I know some of you guys have been wondering about Hank and how he's doing. Uh, we took your advice. Come here, bub. Yeah. We got some bones. So we took your advice. Look, tell him hi, Hank. He's way down here. Hey, baby. And we got him some bones to chew on. We got him some more toys. We've been rewarding him for when he does good and chews on the right things and stuff like that. So he's doing good. Thank you all for all your advice on that and giving us some little pointers and tips. We truly, truly appreciate it. So we're out in the corn right now. Uh, it hasn't rain in a few days so it's dry enough to get in here do some hoeing around the corn and one thing that we want to share is that sometimes you get really good production out of part of your ground and then in other areas mainly that end of the garden it's not doing so hot so it would be real easy to get discouraged but I just want to encourage uh, fellow gardeners out there to keep going so we had to move some corn around because of our dog got in it and then some of it just didn't take up real well in part of the ground. But instead of uh, worrying about that corn, we're gonna use this area now for some pumpkins. So we're gonna grow some pumpkins right here. And then we'll also plant some fall corn a little later on and take another stab at the corn and see if we can do better next time. Maddie, the graduation was the other day and your teacher asked you, what was your favorite food to eat for dinner? What did you say? You said corn. Was you thinking about this kind of corn or was you thinking about the corn that comes in a can with the little bitty yellow pieces? The corn on the cob? Mazzy's favorite, all-time favorite food last year and the year before that was corn on the cob. She will eat three or four ears of it, small ears, out of the garden, won't you, sis? 
and this is peaches and cream corn, and that is Mazzy's favorite, so we hope it does really well. So we're tilling up the dirt around the peppers because in just a minute we're going to run the tiller straight through here and get all the dirt turned up and kill all these grass seeds that are growing. So we've went around just about everything now, the corn, the peppers, the squash, the onions, and we'll get some of this grass turned up and then rake it back around so we can water it for the next few days. Ransom. What's that? What do we have? Look. Whoa. Whoa. You wanna try a bite? No. I'll try a bite. It's a pepper. It's a pepper. Don't don't listen to him. Mmm. You don't want to try it? It's hot. No, it's not hot. What do you think? Good? He likes it. He really likes it. You're not Mikey, but you like it, don't you? Guys? I was just thinking the same thing. Give it to Mikey. He'll eat it. You're good doing job. a good job, sis. Good job. All right, so we have bell peppers. You're watering the bell peppers. <laughs> I'm going to try. Want more? No, I'm going to try. Wait, after you do two more, then Ransom get a turn, okay? Mm -hmm. It's right towards the bottom. <laughs> Make sure the bottom of the plant. <laughs> okay. So this year we tried something a little bit different. We planted cilantro and uh, some dill in between our tomato plants. So we're using this little space in the garden right here between our tomatoes to uh, plant something that hopefully will go in some salsa that we make. My, my leg got wet from that plant. plant. Oh my goodness. What are you going to do, sis? Pick carrots. <gasps> Pick some carrots? You think they're ready? Alright, let's look right here. Ransom, scoot down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, Magic, can you get this one? Pick, look, grab it by all those, all those, and then pull straight up real hard. <gasps> wow, show, show it, it up. Hey, hold it up and show us. Wow, that's... Can I wash it myself? Yeah. yeah. You can wash it. What you doing, sis? I need a full size. You need more water? There you go. 
You washing your carrot you just picked? Mm -hmm. How about you wash those dishes next that Mommy's got to do this evening? Okay. <laughs> With soap. Maggie's going to eat her first fresh carrot. There goes nothing. It's hard. Don't take a huge bite. There you go. Is it better than the store? Not really. <laughs> you didn't like it? Mm -mm. Nasty. The, next, the one from the store was better. <laughs> you want a bite? No, I'm going to go wash the dishes. That's a big one. Hey, can, you, can you put your hands on it? Can you put your hands on it? Ready? Two hands. Ready? Pull it out. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, bub. That's awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Give us a thumbs up. And see you on the next video. Peace. Woo.